Hi guys, just hanging out with Freya here. Um, I'm getting asked a lot, what is CDLS? And while I wanted this channel to be a little bit more about our family and kind of how we function and the fun we have, I do realize I have to kind of address what is CDLS before we can move on. So I'm gonna do a quick little uh, explanation of what CDLS is and then move on to more fun stuff. Um, CDLS is Cornelia DeLange syndrome. It's a rare genetic syndrome that usually is a new mutation, meaning um, I don't have the mutation, my husband doesn't have the mutation. Freya just randomly, when she was developing, the gene mutated and that's how she has this syndrome. Uh, now, Freya, her NIPBL gene is mutated. There are, I always, I think it's seven, it might be eight different genes that are associated with CDLS. Um, basically, it's a syndrome that affects growth and development, very simply put. Um, more into the specifics, you usually will have low birth weight, you will have um, medical problems involving the GI tract, swallowing, reflux, malrotation of the GI tract. You sometimes will have a heart defect, which Freya does not have. You, in 25% of cases, have a limb difference, which Freya does have. Um, you can have behavioral problems, growth, like I said, you... Um, start out small and just stay small. Feeding difficulties go along with the GI issues and just global developmental delays. So Freya is very far behind in development. She is three and about developmentally wise about a nine month old. Um, there are common characteristics to CDLS. You will have, like I said, small hands and feet uh, bushy eyebrows, which we love, the long eyelashes, which are fantastic, long, thick hair, and actual, um, extra hair all throughout the body. When Freya was first born, she had dark hair everywhere. Um, other common characteristics are thin lips, which I love. My mom had thin lips, so that reminds me of her for sure. And then a uh, unibrow. Um, yeah, that's a quick overview of CDLS. It basically affects every aspect of Freya's life and will continue to affect every aspect of her life. She'll continue to be small. She'll continue to be developmentally delayed. She might start having behavioral issues, um, which often stem from not being able to communicate. So because she has a communication delay, she may start having behavioral problems because she can't communicate. She also has an intellectual disability. So she is um, low IQ is a common symptom of CDLS. And yeah, there's a quick little overview of CDLS and what that means for Freya's life and what that means for our lives. Oh, another commonly asked question I get is life expectancy. The answer to this question is not very straightforward. The foundation, which I will link below, I get all my information from the United States CDLS Foundation. They're fantastic. They claim that individuals with CDLS have about 10 years less than an average lifespan. That's not been what I have seen. I guess technically the syndrome does not cause you to die, but things that come along with the syndrome do. So a lot of um, kids that have heart problems, a lot of our kids have lowered immune systems because of Cornelia de Lange syndrome. And so catching just a cold can put you into respiratory failure and cause death. So while CDLS itself does not cause a shortened lifespan. I do know a lot of the kids that have it do not live an average lifespan, if that makes sense.
Can I get who's in there? Can you get him out? Good job. So as far as the communication goes, we started very early with ASL and she did really well with ASL for a while and now has just kind of stopped using it altogether. So now we are working toward a communication device, which would be on an iPad, it shows pictures of the words and then she can click on the picture and it says the word for her, which works really well for a lot of people. But to get to that point, we have to teach her that you tap on something on the iPad and something happens. So we got her an iPad for Christmas, a used old iPad, <laughs> and um, are just trying to teach her that when you push on something on the iPad, come here, that things happen so that eventually she can, come here, eventually she can learn that that's how you use the communication device. Here. Oh. And as you can see, it's, it goes well for about two seconds until she's done with it. So we'll see how that goes. You gonna get that owl? There we go. And she is um, mostly left-handed still. She was born left-handed and still uses her left hand for a lot of things. But now that she's realizing she has more function in her right hand, she will use that a little more often, huh? Do you like your iPad? Can you push that one down in so we can get a new one? Here. Yep, push. Okay, get a new one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so close. There you go. There you go. She has been working on this in occupational therapy for a year. Putting stuff in. She loves to take things out, but putting in is a whole different thing. Okay, push it in. Oh, hey, get a new one. Can you find a new one? You still got a little bit of a runny nose. Good job. You put it in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so close. Here, try again. Try again. Yay! You have to have so much control to do it. And you're doing it. Good job. We should get something to wipe your nose on. Okay, push. Good job. Gonna take him out now, huh? Good job. Got it. Go back in. Yep. Oh, got the yellow one again. Which one are you gonna get now? Ooh, white. Oh, got it. She's always been very good at taking stuff out. And even better when she learned she can throw things, so. Are you gonna throw it? Yeah, get it out of there. Is that it? So what does it mean that Freya has CDLS? What does that mean? Um, Taper's mom, uh -huh. she is a I mean, now she is, she isn't that big. And also, um, it's okay, it keeps her small. That's okay, that was good. It means they look and progress much younger than they actually are. That's a good explanation. Does it, um, like affect her a lot, do you think? Like when you see her next to a typical three-year-old? Um, she looks much, much younger than she actually is. Uh-huh. And she seems much, much younger than she actually is because she progresses slower as well. Yeah. Good explanation, dude. I've got Freya in the carrier here. Say hi. She's been wanting to be held all day because she's getting over a cold, so. When I have to clean, 
in the carrier she goes. Another thing I wanted to go over was that CDLS is a spectrum. So some kids can be severely affected. There's basically, there's um, some people that don't know they have CDLS that have it. There's mildly affected, moderately affected, and severely affected. I would say Freya is on the moderate to severe side. She is definitely severely delayed. She is very healthy though. So her health I'd say is mildly affected. She does get sick all the time, more so than my typical kids do. So I think it is affected a little bit, but very mildly. But as far as her development and growth, she is more toward the moderate to severe side. There are some kids with CDLS that walk and talk and are a little bit behind in growth and Freya's definitely not there, but we would love you no matter where you fell on the spectrum, huh? Hi. So we're gonna go make what for dinner? Fried rice. Fried rice, Fiona's favorite. So thanks oh, for hanging. Axe yes, we're gonna go ax throwing tonight too, huh? We're gonna leave Freya and Jesse and Liam home with dad and we're gonna go. So thanks for being here and listening to my little explanation about CDLS. Again, I will link the foundation's website below they are where I get all my information and support so many families. I think I read on their website that it was 2,800 individuals with CDLS in the United States. So go to their website. And if you feel like supporting, I think there's a donation tab on there. Thanks. We hope to see you guys next time.